bit better. Hola chicos! Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be searching through my work bag. I'm going to be honest, haven't cleared through this bag for a while. Now I tend to go between two bags. Oh my god I can't even lift it! This one, an Adidas grey rucksack and I also have a Nike like hold all big sports bag and I tend to chop and change between the two depending on what kind of day I have but I've been using this one for a while I'm really not sure what's hiding inside there so I thought it would be fun to go through this bag today show you what I take to work with me every day so, but this was a trend a while ago like what's inside my handbag and I thought this would be fun to do to see what's inside a dancer's bag now before I open this bag of mysterious items make sure to give this video a big thumbs up it really, really supports my channel. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Okay, do I start with the small zip at the front or the big bit? I think I'm gonna start with the big section. Dun -dun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> First thing I have in here, random. The biggest bag of raisins you've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, basically I love raisins. I eat oats every day and I love putting raisins in my oats. How much is in here? One kilogram. It doesn't look that big but it's absolutely huge. Yeah, I eat raisins every day and I love raisins. <laughs> Fun fact about me. I mean, I should really leave this at work instead of carrying it back and forth every day but... I don't want anyone to steal my raisins. Next I have my purse. I would show you what's inside it, but there's not very much money in there, so yeah. My little Michael Kors. Oh, I got that for my 21st birthday. Wow, I'm old. Ah, and of course my water bottle. I love this water bottle. I got it from a shop called Typo, and they have like this full wall display of crazy water bottles. I absolutely love this. And it's got, it's one of those ones that you like soak like this. Actually, the other day we're in the middle of a show and my friend was like, oh, hope I'm so thirsty, can I have some water? I was like, in a rush, you know, how it is backstage. And I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, just take it. And then she's screaming at me like, hope it's not working, it's not coming out. And I turned around and she was like this. I was like, babes, you, you need to suck it. <laughs> you need to suck it up, as we say in Scotland. And if you're a dancer, you're, you will automatically know this. Look, that lipstick. That is just like a dancer thing. Like, you will always have red lipstick on your water bottle, no matter what. Next, this may look like a bag with an H on it. Actually, it is a bag with an H on it. This is the classic period bag. All things for periods in it. I don't need to explain that to you. You can imagine what's inside this bag. But yeah, girls, we all have a period bag. If you don't have a period bag, you've got tampons in your handbag. But yes, this is, you know, all things menstrual next up we have a bra <laughs> classic strapless nude bra any dancer needs this for under costumes nude bra nude thongs it's a dancer thing oh oh my lovely friend danielle got me these these are twinings tea bags but for cold water infused tea bags cold water infusion natural flavors these are watermelon strawberry and mint so there's 12 tea bags and they are and they are so nice and refreshing you just leave it in water for a couple of minutes and then shake your bottle and it just it's, it's a bit better than drinking kind of boring old water so i have of course iphone charger and apple watch charger essentials at work i've got my jazz shoes all of my shoes everything's provided for me at work but I have my little Capizio jazz pumps in here. I just always keep these in my bag because during shows, like in between shows, I always like to go into the studio and mess about, just put some music on and stuff. So I always have these to train in. Next, this is my makeup bag. Now this looks ridiculously empty for the amount of makeup I have on my face, but I keep all of my makeup and all of my brushes at work, except from this little bag, because obviously sometimes I'm not at work and sometimes I need makeup at home as well. In here, of course, I have the most important thing. If you haven't watched back my other videos yet, you will realise that I have no eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> so in here, I have like the essentials, like a little bit of concealer, my brows, a bit of mascara. This is just my little everyday essential makeup that I keep in my bag with me because of course I have all my 
show makeup at work. Next up are two very important bags. Right now this is a little bit like TMI. When you're a dancer, you sweat a lot. When you're a dancer in a theme park in Dubai and you're dancing outside in 50 degree heat, you sweat a lot. So it is essential to change your pants. Sorry to talk about it on YouTube, but you gotta change your pants. So I have this bag. It actually says Ocean Club Bikini Bag. This is full of clean pants, socks, and I think there's a sports bra in there as well. Then you have this bag. Look how cute that is. I don't know where I found it. It's all wrinkly because it's been in there. It says underwear bag. Now this is the dirty one. So I have clean underwear that I can change into and then I put the dirty ones in here. So they're not just at the bottom of my bag. See? P.S. Sorry to talk about my pants and sorry to wave them about in the air like this to you. This is my little trick. So you've got, you've always got fresh ones and you've always got a place to put the dirty ones. And you can actually just put this bag in the washing machine with it. So it's a little bit too much info. But... you got to have clean pants. Oh, well, managed to steal some fruit from the staff canteen today. No, that, I, didn't, I stole this one today. When I say steal, I didn't actually steal it. <laughs> I did not steal, obviously they give fruit out at work. I, I remember taking this one today, but this orange, I must have got yes. Oh no, I wasn't, I was off yesterday. This orange might have been in here for quite a while. Next, I have another toiletry bag. I got this bag free on a flight. Now I was not in the VIP section, nor was I in business class, but they wanted to give me a free bag. But I felt really bad because they didn't give anyone else a bag. So this was full of little like bits and bobs of like a sleep mask and things, but now I have a free toiletry bag. So in here, I've got some skincare. Now I actually bought these the other day. I've got my aloe vera. Obviously I have eczema if you didn't know already, so I have to be careful with what products I use, but aloe vera is fine with my skin. Now I bought these two actually just not that long ago. I'm yet to try this one. This is a Sukin Australian Natural Skin Care. This is a facial scrub, which I'm yet to try. And this one is a hydrating mist toner from the same brand. Now I tried this one last night actually, and I woke up this morning with nice skin. However, of course I have eczema, so I need to try these things out. Trial and error for a while to see if they're okay with my skin. What else is in a little toothpaste? I always keep a toothbrush and toothpaste at work, um, but I must, oh actually this mini one came in the bag, this bag when I got this bag free. So yeah, I've got my little skincare bag. I like to take this with me because sometimes I need it at work and sometimes I need it at home. Of course I've got my hairbrush, essential. What is this? Oh, this is actually um, a disinfectant spray, antiseptic to clean my piercing. I explained in one vlog literally months ago that I got a new piercing up here. Huns, it's still not healed. <laughs> I don't know whether my body's just rejecting it or what, but like it still hurts and I still have to clean it all the time. So just a little antiseptic spray for the old piercing. I have a pack of face wipes. I have my body spray. Obviously, I'm a sweaty dancer, so I need to smell nice. Actually, me and all the other girls on my team, we all use these. These are from Bath & Body Works. Just little body spray. They're not expensive at all, but they smell lovely. And we all use them, because you don't want to use your expensive perfume or anything like that whilst you're dancing, but you also don't want to smell like Shrek. These little kind of cheap body sprays are perfect. Oh, I have some, these are like Barocca. These are, it's just like an isotonic tablet. Now, when I first came to Dubai, I suffered with horrendous migraines. My main show here is the most cardio I've ever done in my life. It's a show where I need a lot of stamina. My body was, you know, kind of trying to regulate the climate and everything of Dubai and of course a new lifestyle. And I used to get pain at the back of my right eye, but these were my saving grace when I had those migraines. It just kind of replenishes. Replenishes. Any kind of salts and sugars that you've lost due to sweat, just to sickness, any of that kind of stuff. It's just like a Lucozade, but in the Barocca form. I've got my little shopping bag, but it folds down into a nice square. I'm not gonna open it up because quite frankly, I can't get it back into the square. But I got this in Ali Hop in Spain. And yeah, I take my shopping bag everywhere so that I don't use plastic bags. So this is always in my bag in case I run to the shop after work. Then I have a hair clip that has lost three of its 
tongs so that's absolutely no use to anyone and I've got my deodorant don't you think roll on deodorant is gross <laughs> I don't know whether I think the concept of it's gross or like the action like there is nothing attractive about like I can't even do it it's making me cringe but like lifted your arm <clears throat> it's making me cringe and then it, this bit's got like a pocket inside and this is where I keep all my books I literally have a library in here I take these to work every day so I have my two notebooks this one says no bad ideas and this one says too glam to give a damn this oh this one's got a pen inside look oh that pen actually matches this one now, this is a bit ironic because I told you guys two videos ago that writing lists isn't my thing anymore, that I stopped writing lists and my anxiety went away, but I do always keep a notepad. Any choreography, any shows I've learned, things like that, I do always keep a notepad. <laughs> <coughs> This one's got a couple of shows in it and it's actually got some YouTube ideas in it. And then this one, do not judge, this has lots of loose bits of paper in it. These are all like my gym workouts, so we've got like full body, back, upper body. I organise during the day what I'm going to do, I write it down and then I just take the little bit of paper to the gym with me. So this is like my gym book where I just write down all of my gym workouts. Then I've got Harry Potter. Oh, I like to read a lot just to keep my brain ticking over. I choose an easy read, something that catches my attention. When I do have a bit of spare time, I like to put my phone away and I do try to get reading in. I really, it's something I've been really trying to do this year. So I've always got Harry Potter on me because it's an easy read. I've seen the film so I know the story so it's nice to connect those two things. If I'm completely uninterested in the book, I will not go near it. And then here I've got my Spanish workbook. I take this with me every day in my bag. If you don't know me, I speak Spanish. I learnt Spanish through ear, so I learnt Spanish just being in Spain and talking to Spanish people. That is why reading and writing is horrendous for me. So I choose to study on my own. I've never had any Spanish lessons, so my reading and writing isn't very strong. So this is full of exercises. I get really frustrated with it because I haven't learned to read or write, so I get everything wrong and I'm crossing it out and I get so frustrated. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just the the plug. Look, I got a new plug when I bought the Apple Watch and it like pops up. How fun is that? That is all for the big section. Let's go into this little mini section on the front. First up, my sunglasses. Let's have a shot of these. I've got multiple sunglasses, but these are my... I like these ones, right? I'll tell you why I like these ones. Because they're big enough. Well, nearly. Maybe not the way I've drawn them on today, but they're big enough to cover my eyebrows. So if I don't have my eyebrows on when I get to work because I've left my makeup there, I'm not going to be scaring any children on the way. Get them on in the morning when I go to Starbucks so I don't scare any of the public. Oh, I didn't know that was in there. The thing to clean your glasses is also in there. We have a pot of chewing gum. Oh, I bought myself some new baubles yesterday, so they're still in the packet. Here, this is my hotel card. If you don't know, if you can't tell, I live in a hotel, so this is my room card. Then I've got my lanyard, my work ID in there. I won't show you that. Private and confidential. Then I've got my favourite scrunchie. I just keep this in my bag, just in case I need to throw up my hair. Then, oh my god, I've got my little poop. Look, so this is my little poop, it's a little purse, and this has got all of my Kirby Grips bobby pins, if you call them that. I've got a couple of more baubles, some safety pins in case my costume falls off. This is a little pin bag. Look how cute it is. What's this? Tulip and Yuzu Face Moisturiser. I got this in the free aeroplane bag. Oh, we've got two lip balms, Japanese mint. That also came, the little aeroplane bag. And then I've got my other lip balm, Essentials. <gasps> I'm, ju I'm just sorry about it. <laughs> like I have no words, I'm just sorry. So we have our Apple um, headphones. As you can see here, one of them is completely broken. And then I have these nice blue ones that I got free on an airplane also. And then, oh my god, you guys are gonna laugh. I've got my sunglasses holder. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of them. You know you put your sunglasses and you got like the granny thing there. Do you know the real reason why I have one of these is because sometimes I will have to rehearse outside. If my show's outside, I'll have to rehearse outside. So I always keep these in my bag because obviously I wear my sunglasses when I'm outside to protect my eyes if I've got long rehearsals. So I have one of these because if i am got my glasses on and I do a pirouette, my glasses are gonna fall off and they're not gonna smash because they're attached. Okay, there's not much left in here. 
Starbucks receipt, of course. Oh, the, then I have the, um, the, the lens protector for this exact camera. Don't ask me why it's in this bag because the camera wasn't in this bag. See, careless, absolutely careless. This is in the front of my work bag. Who knows why? I've got two pens, you know, for my notes. I've got two steroid creams. If you are an eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis sufferer, you know exactly what these are. Then I have another one. This is actually for my scalp, which is really gross, but it's like an oil because I have really bad eczema in my hair. So that's another gross TMI thing for you to all see. And then the last two little things, I've got my... <laughs> Olbus oil inhaler because I had a cold not so long ago and an eyelash glue. And yes, this is a Primark one. You probably recognize it. I use Primark eyelash glue every day because I love it. It's the stickiest thing ever. Now that is everything that is in my work bag. The work bag of a professional dancer. Now I have to put it all back in. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun actually filming this one. This was good fun for me. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye! Oh, what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. No texts. That's not a shock, is it? I've had this makeup on since 11am. <laughs>